Well, hello folks, how are you? Sorry I uh, uh, never got back to you this week, or last week, sorry, for uh, last week's blog. It was a bit busy. I was uh, I was all over the place uh, and I got myself a wee globe just to prove I was about, oh, drop something there. Quite critical, quite critical. Yeah, so there's my wee globe. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I'm going to hang it somewhere. Um, yeah, so I was away. I had a little, I decided on visiting a couple of dear friends down uh, in uh, the lovely Brixham in Devon uh, to visit my friend uh, Elaine um, and her lovely sisters, uh, uh, Lynn and Janet. So yeah, it was lovely uh, seeing them. It was a wee kind of spontaneous thing which led me not to be able to do the, the, the vlog. Um, so I didn't forget about you, um, and uh, it's nice to be back. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of funny because you, you kind of run out of ideas on what to do. Uh, or can you imagine me running out of ideas on what to say? That's almost a human impossibility. But anyway, we're back in Scotland amongst the floods and all the things that need uh, fixed. One thing I've got to say uh, is I spoke to a lovely girl uh, called Diane in, um, uh, through in Bears Den who incredibly, 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 and I say that three times, has got me about 26, 27 bikes and they're all out in the garage now. I can barely get my car in the garage. Uh, I've got to pick up another two in uh, West Cobride and... Um, and so, yeah, just that was absolutely amazing. It got so mental that on my way home from Devon, uh, I did my first ever uh, private party in a house for a birthday. Uh, as I say that, I mean, I've did a few private parties before, but um, it's usually just kind of doing like cover songs that I don't know very well. Uh, and I've usually been half pissed doing them. Uh, and... Um, yeah, just for some friends and stuff in Jersey, and we've all really just been enjoying the party, and and uh, and I've been sort of getting drunk along with them. Uh, this time it was different. Um, uh, it was um, a, a, a kind fan, uh, Liam, uh, and his partner Cindy, uh, and and it was a surprise for him. So it was quite strange. Oh, there's the Largs train. Hello, you people of Largs. Are you going to Glasgow? There's many, many other places in the world. So the globe says, globe, universe. Enjoy yourselves. Have a splash out. Have a gin and tonic. Uh, have yourself some oysters. Although you can't go to that lovely place in Glasgow because it doesn't seem to be open. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, uh, an Italian place. Uh, I can't remember. But um, yeah, so... Uh, yeah, um, so I played that party, which was very unusual. I must say uh, it was uh, a really tough time. I really, uh, it was, uh, it was, um, it was a lot harder than I expected to be in front of uh, uh, just a few people, family, uh, in a gathering, um, and uh, and playing uh, four or five songs uh, for uh, for his birthday. Um, but that's the, the that's the things that we do as musicians, as 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 uh, show monkeys, as whatever we are. Uh, uh, so it was different, but that brought me back up to uh, to Scotland quickly from from Devon. Um, if I hadn't I stayed, if I hadn't had the, that that gig to do, I'd have probably stayed on a few days, uh, a few days more with my lovely dear friend Elaine and her sisters. Um, but as it was, it was just a kind of three day. Um, uh, I was speaking to her on the phone last Wednesday um, uh, about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And by two o'clock, I'd made my decision that I was going to drive down to Devon. So I drove the whole way down and didn't stop. I fueled up here in Ardrossan. Uh, I left here about uh, um, uh, 2.30, Chinese dentist. Uh, and I got down there at 10.30, so it was eight hours solid, no stopping, 
got there, uh, had a cup of tea, had a slice of toast and then went to bed. I didn't have a cup of tea because I don't drink tea anymore. I had a glass of sparkling water and a nice bit of toast because I haven't really been eating bread for a long, long time. But I had a nice bit of toast um, which was kindly left for me uh, and a nice glass of sparkling water and then bed. And then had two or three lovely days in, in, in uh, a lovely place called Brixham which is a beautiful place. It's like a little bowl um, of coast uh, um, and a lovely, lovely place down there. Uh, funny enough, I, I was a bit knackered last night uh, and I was going to watch uh, a movie, so I just say I watched um, uh, Dunkirk and it kind of took you to all those lovely places where, where um, all the boats had sailed from, all the private boats that were sent over to pick up the, the people uh, in France, um, uh, good good movie. Harry Styles has got a little part in it. Um, uh, yeah, so uh, uh, so I did that, and it reminded me a little bit that I'd been down with my friends. Just checking the old piano. So yeah, that was lovely. Uh, and as I say, on the way up. The, this lovely lady Diane uh, uh, told me that she had some bikes for me so I got there about uh, I drove back up on Sunday from Brixham uh, and made one very quick stop um, to uh, uh, to the to the toilet the urination station uh, I had a quick pee uh, got a quick glass of water uh, had another banana and was off um and uh, yeah, so that was uh, that was interesting, uh, and got up here. Uh, left there at nine thirty, and got up to Glasgow about uh, four thirty with a stop. Um, uh, yeah, maybe just a little bit later. The, I had to buy some plectrums, so I stopped off uh, uh, in Guitar Guitar in Glasgow. Got some plectrums, went away and did the private party. Uh, came out of their lovely house and steps drove to Bear's Den, picked up 10 bikes, which I managed to get in my car. Very small kids' bikes, eight, and then two on my bicycle rack, and then went, I went back and got another 15 or so. I had to borrow um, uh, my friend Danny's van. So it was mental. So I've got a garage full of bikes, which I'm delighted about to hand out to some kids, some needy kids, and still want some more bikes. So if you've got bikes, you know where I am. Uh, I'm going to get a glass of water. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. We're coming back. Bring a glass of water. There we are. There we are. Some sparkling water. No doubt it'll be burping away. Um, yeah, and I brought these through to show you. I've got some. I've always had ear problems. Um, what's happening? Yeah, that's better. Oh, seem to have a wee issue with the headphones there. Um, yeah, that does appear to be a wee issue with that. Uh, yeah. So, um, so I've got all these things for my ears. First of all, I tried this stuff, which is pretty mental. This Otex stuff. God, now the headphones are starting to act up. Uh, don't do that do what you're told um, wow that's really weird why are you doing that don't do that uh, yeah so um, it's never done that before um, yeah so this stuff this Otec stuff that you put in your ears it's quite painful I found it burns your ears a little bit I think it's got some peroxide or something in them that really is beginning to act up why is it doing that I know my ears are dodgy but uh yeah that's not good um yeah so uh yeah um and then i got this stuff from the doctor so i've got a little bit of blockage i've always had trouble with my ears and then my friend gave me this and my friend uh, 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 that he got his son in spain but that isn't any good that's for drying up your ears and i don't need my ears dried uh, what i do need is this headphone socket to work properly before we do anything. What's the microphone? Oh, 
it wasn't the headphones, it was the microphone. Maybe you heard that too. Um, so yeah. So that was that. That was the last few days. Um, we've got a couple of requests. Uh, we got a request in from somebody asking for this song. Um, I love this song. It's an old Burton Cummins song, which was a Canadian singer. He's a Canadian singer-songwriter. Um, well, that, that mic is really... That's what's acting up. It's the microphone. Um, so, yeah, uh, Lorraine asked me to sing this song, I think. Oh, no, Lorraine asked me to sing I Might Give In, which I'm not sure we'll be able to do. Um, break it to them gently. I don't know who asked me to do that, but I'm doing it anyway. Break it to them gently. Lovely song. Just let me get organised. So, yeah. Break it to them gently. When you tell my mom and dad When you see my baby sister Be as kind as you can Break it to my grandma Said that boy's a wild and bad Break it to them gently when you tell them that I won't be coming home again Cause I'm running with a gun It isn't any fun as a fugitive I'm fighting for my life Don't know if I'll make it alone I'm running with a gun It isn't any fun as a fugitive Lord, I want to go home Lord, I wish you was home When you see my lady With the twinkle in her eyes Tell her to her softly And hold her if she cries Tell her that I love her And I will till the day I die Break it to them gently when you tell them That I won't be coming home again I got in too deep with strangers Thinking they could help me find my way But nobody warned me of the dangers And it's always the young and foolish that have to pay So break it to them gently When you tell my mom and dad Thank them for the good years And all the loving that I had And break it to my grandma Said that boy's a wild and bad Break it to them gently when you tell them that I won't be coming home again Cause I'm running with a gun It isn't any fun as a fugitive I'm fighting for my life Don't know if I'll make it alone I'm running with a gun It isn't any fun as a fugitive Lord, I want to go home Lord, I wish you was home Break it to them gently Break it to them gently You gotta break it to them gently Gotta really try to move them You gotta break it to them gently Gotta really try to soothe them You gotta really try to soothe them You gotta really try to roll them you gotta roll it to my mother You gotta roll it to my grandma Roll the old lady Roll it to my grandma She's damn near ready Roll it to my mother Roll it to my grandma You gotta 
Try to break it to them gently Break it to them gently You gotta break it to them gently Yeah <coughs> Bloody hair Hair's getting long Look like a wee lassie um, Great song a uh, Canadian singer-songwriter called Burton Cummins. Uh, actually, did that? Yeah. I was a bit worried there. I didn't think the piano had recorded, but it has. Uh, been leaving it for a couple of weeks. So, yeah, um, down in Brixham, um, and uh, as I say, got back up. Didn't manage to do a little vlog for you all last week because of that. Um, so, yeah. Kind of came back up because we've got, I've got a bit of a, a landslide that's happening at the back of the uh, the house and uh, <coughs> it's a bit strange. Sorry, I'm having a wee cough because it's uh well I had a wee cough, um, but uh yeah it's it's kind of early. It's only one o'clock in the afternoon, um, and of course the big match is on tonight, Celtic. So I thought I would do this and then I'll, I'll be able to watch the game tonight. Um. <clears throat> there are there are other teams so uh yeah um so yeah there's not not been much happening in the last day or so since the last couple of days since i've been back up uh, i've bought myself a new xylophone because joe and i are going in to uh, record um uh, some new caesar songs so we're starting to get uh, to get our little collection of instruments that we love for uh, for Caesar, things like I showed you uh, a couple of weeks ago, um, the old uh, kalimba. Love those. Uh, if you put those through nice nice effects and stuff. Um, they start to sound really really good they're lovely uh so yeah there's that and and obviously i've ordered the xylophone stroke um with a glockenspiel um uh and um all the usual ditty instruments will be on there so joe and i have now pardon me concluded our uh, publishing deal which is signed uh and um We've got more announcements to be made. Um, uh, I did tell you a little bit about uh, that we're going to be performing uh, a song uh, and recording with an orchestra. So we're just waiting for that to be finalised, which is really exciting. Uh, I think that'll be beautiful. I've always wanted to sing uh, with an orchestra, so that'll be amazing. Um, and uh, yeah, so um, apart from that, we'll maybe do another song. Uh, Yeah, so um, this was a song I got asked to sing at the party. Slightly different key. See if we push this here and catch up with it. And every star fell from the sky to show the love I have inside. I hear 
that bell Every child no matter where I roam no. Every sight there is And every sound Of Glasgow town As I walk down the river's edge Remembering the things we said Thoughts keep running Every time I hear that bell Every time, no matter where I roam Every sight there is And every sound of Glasgow town star fell from the sky to show the love I have inside and everybody else could see Yeah, <laughs> a few wrong chords um, and a different key, um, a different key, that song, uh, so yeah, um, because I set the piano up to do the other song, I, I, you can't transpose it while we're in recording mode, so I always like the sound to be better, um, rather than uh, just doing it from the sound from the camera, uh, or from the phone which isn't a good sound so I have to marry the sound from here and the, the, the images from there and I much prefer it that way um, so yeah um, so not a lot has been happening on Prick's Bridge um, since we uh, since I last since I got back really um, the last couple of days well the first day I was back was beautiful uh, collecting the bikes um, and yesterday was a bit dodgy and today is a bit dodgy but there you go that's the old west coast of scotland so yeah very little activity on pricks bridge um nobody's sliding off it let's read you a little poem um from this lovely book the poetry pharmacy it's called nettles by vernon scannell my son aged three fell in the nettle bed bed seemed a curious name for those green spears that regiment of spite behind the shed it was no place for rest with sob sobs and tears the boy came seeking comfort and i saw white blisters beaded on his tender skin we soothed him till his pain was not so raw at last he offered us a watery grin and then i took my bill hook honed the blade and went outside and slashed in fury with it till not a nettle in that fierce parade stood upright anymore 
and then I lit a funeral pyre to burn the fallen dead. But in two weeks, the busy sun and rain had call, called up tall recruits behind the shed. My son would often feel sharp wounds again. <laughs> it's the condition is parental protectiveness and it's also suitable for general overprotectiveness. Uh, and our lovely friend William Seacart says, There is such overwhelming strength of feeling when one is a parent. Nettles Vernon Scannell's story of his fury as the plants that harm his son is a perfect emblem of the lengths we will go to in order to protect our children. We are all, we are all ruled at times by the same primal instinct that can make it suicide to come between an animal and its cub. When children are precious and yet as desperately fragile as they are, how can we not lie awake at night worrying that love, which is one of the most wonderful things in the world, is also deeply frightening? Suddenly you have your far less sway over the things that determine your mood. You're only happy when your child is, and much as you might long to, that's not something you can always control. At the same time, it is crucially important to remember that we cannot protect our children from all harm all of the time. The nettles will grow back, the young will feel pain and shock and heartbreak and this will be how they learn a great many things worth knowing. The world is not a kind place but is a fertile one. Children grow quickly and they do so as much with the help of the bad things as of the good. This is not to say that you shouldn't protect your tr children at all, far from it, but there are extremes of protectiveness that are ridiculous that can even be dangerous. I myself still remember grabbing a child around the throat long ago when he seemed to be pushing my daughter into a paddling pool. His father looked at me with reproach and said, he's only three. This poem encourages the sort of realism and through it restraint and that could have saved me a lot of embarrassment that day. Lovely. Nettles by Vernon Scannell. Interesting name as well, Vernon Scannell or Scannell. Um, lovely book, thank you, Joseph. Um, the Poetry Pharmacy by William Seacart. There we go. Lovely thing. Um, so, yeah, I've been putting up a few posts uh, from uh, our Charlie uh, Mackesy book uh, recently too. Um, and uh, it just seems to be a surge of... Uh, uh, of mental health awareness uh these days which is good uh and times that we need it um with the likes of um trump and and that buffoon boris johnston roaming the streets pretending that uh, they give a fuck about anybody but themselves um so yeah mental health is really be at the forefront of a lot of the things that i see from time to time on social media um so yeah um uh, it's good it's good that it's getting some um exposure uh, so that people can know uh there's places to go and you see it everywhere i see i see uh, troubling mental health uh, everywhere um amongst your friends and family and just everyday things that you never recognized before um this is a song that i wrote uh, for one of my friends that was uh, suffering from uh, mental health my friend Deb asked me to do this for her son who's listening to my music thank you young fellow let me introduce myself I'm a man of worldly wealth I got hats on every shelf In every room And I have sailed the seven seas Eaten from forbidden trees I made my mark in industry But much too soon Did I trade where others feed to go? I danced in mountains washed with snow and from above I looked below as I climbed high I raised my glass to fellow men I talked to how they won and win I turned away from you again so I could cry 
And I feel that nothing's gonna bring me down. I'm holding on forever and I scream, but I don't make a single sound. When I had to sweat and toil When I was burning midnight oil I felt the fear inside me coil Like a burning flame And I saw things in holy places Memories that had no traces Left their mark upon our faces And our names And though that I am not in sight Just look for me in rays of light Something in the air tonight I'm comfortably numb And I feel That nothing's gonna bring me down I'm holding on forever And I scream But I don't make a single sound And I feel, oh, that nothing's gonna bring me down I'm holding on forever and I scream Oh, but I don't make a single sound There we are. <coughs> oh man. <coughs> you shouldn't really sing. Singing's for the evening when you've been speaking all day. It's a funny thing because we used to uh we used to stop doing sound checks in the afternoon because of that. Y your voice needs time to warm up and because I'm uh, rattling about here on my own, I don't have anybody to talk to in the mornings. Uh, until I start to go out, so you need to use your voice. You need to, you need to uh, to use it to 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 get it moving. It's just like, you know, get your legs moving. Or you know. Uh... Anyway, so all good, all good. So um, that was for Deb and her son. Um. Yeah. So uh, not a, an awful lot to to report. I mean, I was delighted with the, with those bikes. Uh, I want to talk maybe a wee bit about gigs and stuff. I've we'll been hearing a lot of stuff in the media uh, about gigs. Um, yeah, I mean, th they're not really happening. Uh, I had my uh, gig. Uh, uh, someone was asking me the other day that uh, uh, the the gigs, about the gigs in Paisley. Uh, well, we know that that's been postponed now. That's got put back to next year to April I think um, and um, we then have the Liverpool gig which I think is about to be postponed and we also have the gig uh, up in um, uh, it's going to escape my mind now terrible 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 um, uh, up uh, Edinburgh way I can't remember the name of the venue that's terrible can I, can I see it on here probably not um, no, I can't. Uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, in November. Um, and I genuinely think that, that most of these gigs, uh, we've also got the CCA in Glasgow uh, in November. I think that's going to be postponed too. So I'm probably best to give you a heads up to say that I don't think I'll be gigging this year, um, which is unbelievable. Um and I think by the time we get back to gigging, um, it'll be a whole year without being able to 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 work uh, and and uh, and earn and uh, and do gigs. So it was nice to play that that party the other day, uh, and it'll be nice to get back gigging again. But you know, um, I'm not complaining. I'm not. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, if it, if it went on for another year. Uh, I think I'd have to look for another profession, um, but uh, uh, um, we'll just wait and see how it goes. I've got my fingers crossed and my toes crossed. Uh, 
as you probably uh, I've told you before in the meantime if you wanted to buy some lyrics from me uh, some handwritten lyrics that'll help every little helps um, uh, and if you wanted to do that just email me at jjgilmore at gmail.com all my CDs uh, uh, and music are online if you wanted to buy some of those it's a good time to buy some of those uh, and I have promised uh, people that um, the album Slow Commotion will be back in produ production and that probably will happen but I think it probably now won't happen until early next year until I start earning money uh, uh, because that that's there's quite an outlay you just, you just don't buy uh, or reorder or, or reprint um, new albums by tens or hundreds it's thousands so you have to buy thousands or, or, or at least a thousand to make it to make it sensible um and so that's quite a, a an outlay so that'll probably happen um at the start of next year i think when we start gigging again and we start see, see seeing st uh, stuff coming in but it's all good uh, listen we've got a roof over our head we've got food in our belly we've got sparkling water and, and we've got great um health care uh, if you've got any providing these fucking Tories don't sell it um, uh, to that Trump um, so yeah so we're, we're good we're good we're, you know we're, we're, there's people in uh, a lot worse places than I am like some of the people that I'm giving these bikes to who, who really really do um, um, struggle so um, it's all it's all good uh, I think we've probably got Lorraine asked me for a mic given <clears throat> and why don't we do it because she asked for it and that was nice um, so uh, I might give him I might give him to all the pressure I'm in I've got the willingness to win Well, if anything, my love A wish from my above Well, I might be chasing love I ain't gonna be a rolling stone Cause I just want somewhere to call home Cause I'm sick and tired of being alone When the benefit I've tried That can be denied oh. Well, I might be wishing God was somewhere else Like in the arms of one who cares Yeah, hold me when I start to But be careful what you dream Cause it's all a show, it's all I show It don't matter where on earth I go Cause it's still the only thing I Well, if anything, my love A wish from my purple Well, I might be chasing love I might 
might give and I might give and to all the pressure that I'm in cause I've got the willingness to Taking a ride. I'm taking a long, long, lonely ride. I know you're on my side. Giving strength to my soul and my mind. I know that I just asked you for a chance to provide. That's why we're all in a row. Sometimes Now I've got a runny nose Oops I was out of control I was skidding all over the road Down a deep dark hole Where I threw in my money to show I know that I just asked you for the rest of your life That's why we're all in a road movie sometimes This is for Jim The story's just been twisted So unaware It's far too realistic It's turned into a nightmare So when I get scared when I stand at the top of the stairs Keep me in your prayers Nature never was kinder than human care I know I always ask a lot The only thing I want is shot I know I always ask a lot But the camera never lies It's why we're all in a road movie Played a part in a B-movie We're all in a road movie sometimes Ooh. Yeah, so Jimbo, that was for you. Um... <coughs> feel the voice warming up a little bit now you can feel it sort of not quite as irritated uh, with stuff so yeah so there we are it's, uh, that was a wee vlog or two I think we managed to cover all the uh, I can't remember who asked for break it to them gently um, but we did a make give in for Lorraine and Glasgow Town uh, was for Stephen um and yeah, that's kind of it. Pricks Bridge is quiet. I just saw some school kids because the schools are back now. Um, uh, they were going over Pricks Bridge there. Um, and uh, so it appears to be getting uh, more traffic uh, during the day. Um, the foxes, uh, I did see them. I saw two of them uh, uh, before I headed down to Brixham. Uh, and um, so they're okay. Uh, everybody else seems well. Uh, we're still reveling in this uh, this uh, this virus that's uh, that's going a bit mental. But um, yeah, well, listen, we'll get back soon. I'll try and uh, I'll try and keep this weekly vlog going. Sometimes it's a bit difficult when you've got uh, 
you know, you've got other things to do and other things on your mind. But all is well. If anybody was worried about me, please uh, thank you for being concerned. I'm okay. I just had to uh, uh, pop down and see friends down in Brixham. So <clears throat> have a lovely time, the people of Largs. We love you. We really do. Um, I was down in Largs the other day, just before I headed to Brixham, actually. Uh, and I managed to purchase a lovely uh, bookend in a second-hand store, this beautiful bookend. I'm not much of a reader, but we do gather books. Um, so anyway, lots of love. I hope you're well in Canada, America, Espana, France, Australia. <laughs> Wherever as you live. I heard a New Zealand guy on the news this morning. Uh, it was, they were news reporting about that arsehole that shot all those poor people in the mosque. Uh, and he the, mo the most um, strange accent. It's a strange accent that um, they pronounce all the vowels differently. But uh, if you're living in New Zealand, we love you too. Uh, even although you pronounce, listen to me speaking. God, we we've taken the English language, the Scots, and completely bastardised it. So hello to you all, whatever you are in the UK and Ireland. And I say to you. Do.